Okay, well, U.S. stocks are higher today, but they have lost a lot of ground since the highs of just a few weeks ago. The S&P 500 down about 5% from its Feb 18th high of 1343. Well, look, if you're bullish long term, this may be a good time to put some money to work. The question for many is just where they should do that. Well, Don Wardell is the portfolio manager of the $1.8 billion Ridgeworth Mid-Cap Value Fund. It has been a top-performing fund for the past five years and offered investors returns of 28% last year. Well, he joins us now from Orlando to talk about his strategy and to offer up some t stock picks. But, Don, we got to start with Japan. I mean, the crisis in Japan, as you know, making headlines and also really rippling through just about every asset class, just about every region around the world. And whether your big cap, mid cap, or small cap, everyone's got exposure, and you do specifically. You have a number of companies that um, have traded down since the events in Japan um, started last Friday. Have you changed your position at all? Uh, no, actually not. I'd say uh, the, the, the issues in Japan, I, I feel, are going to be short-term in nature. While it's a tragedy and it's a, it's a horrible uh, situation for the people of Japan to endure, I, I do believe that uh, we'll learn from this uh, and, and moving forward. We're going to have to rebuild the country, which is going to be positive for steel companies and industrial companies and building products companies. Uh, and uh, some of the, 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 just going forward, I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be okay. Uh, I, I don't think it's anything to get to, uh, to, to overreact or get too, uh, too excited about. Now, talk to me a little bit about value versus growth. Growth, is, growth has generally been outperforming over long periods of time or over the last six months, certainly. I think it's outperformed. I'm talking about the red, Russell mid-cap value versus Russell mid-cap growth. Growth is out, outperformed by about 5.5% over the last, say, six months. Do you think that strategy is going to change? Well, you know, I, 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 uh, <laughs> being a value guy, I sure hope so. Um, I, I think that uh, over the next uh, three to six months, you could see a lot of volatility uh, in the markets. And so I can't, I, I can't, from a macro or top-down perspective, tell you what's going to happen with value versus growth. But I think over the longer term, uh, and I'm talking you know, one to two years, um, I think corporate balance sheets are in good shape. I think corporate earnings are in good shape. We have very accommodative fiscal and monetary policies, which should allow uh, stock pickers like ourselves to, uh, you know, if we do our work and uh, take advantage of this volatility to buy bigger positions in stocks we like, we should, uh, at the end of the day, come out on top. All right. On that note, tell us about the, the stocks that you like right now. Well, one of my favorite ideas in specialty chemical land is Ashland Corp. Uh, you know, our process, the tenets of our philosophy are threefold. It's dividends, valuation, and fundamentals are what gets a stock into our portfolios. Uh, you know, Ashland has a great dividend yield that they raised 17% today. Uh, the company is an extremely attractive valuation at five and a half times EBITDA. And then the fundamentals there are great. They, uh, they're selling non-core businesses. They're investing in uh, higher, higher return, higher margin, higher growth businesses, which is the specialty chemical water business and then they're taking the cash from the sales of these non-core assets and buying back stock uh, I mentioned growing the dividend and also funding their uh, their pension plan so we really like Ashland Corp uh, over the next uh, two years here what about Ingersoll Rand I know that's another one of your top picks it is, and you know, Ingersoll Rand is is a, is a story where uh, you've just had a management team that's restructured the business. Their uh, you know the peak to peak, business cycle peak to business cycle peak margins will be much higher this time. Uh, this is a company that's shuttering high cost manufacturing, and they're in the sweet spot as uh, energy prices continue to move higher. Uh, one of the best things you can do is re is to re retrofit your building or your house with with uh, updated HVAC, you know, air conditioning systems and heating systems and ventilating uh, ventilation systems. Systems. And so Ingersoll Rand has is, 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 is got a great uh, business in train, and uh, we think that they're poised to do probably somewhere around 550 in earnings in two years, and the stock should see $75 if they, if they execute on their plan. With the stock at 46 uh, roughly today, it's a very attractive opportunity. Let's talk about a company in the financial sector, MB Financial. Give us a little description. You know, mid-cap stocks obviously not as well known necessarily as the large cap, particularly in the financial sector. but. Tell us your uh, thesis on this one. 
Well, sure. I mean, that, and, and to comment on your early on, on your statement there, I really think that's the beauty of mid cap investing is you get the information opportunity of small cap investing, but the liquidity of large. MB Financial is a perfect uh, example. This is a company that has 90 branches in downtown Chicago. Uh, they've they've done seven failed FDIC deals. We think this company has probably 275 to three dollars in earnings power in two years. The stock's trading at around twenty dollars a share. It's it's very attractive if you just put a 10 multiple, you've got almost 50% upside in the stock. So, you know, we really think that, uh, you know, you, you can go out there and uh, do your work on, a, on a, again, on a bottom-up fundamental basis and find some really great opportunities. But you have to be patient. The near-term volatility can be exhausting, uh, and uh, but you got to be patient and be diligent. Right. You're telling me the volatility is crazy lately. Thanks so much, though, Don, for joining us today. That was Don Wardell of the Ridgeworth Mid-Cap Value Fund.